Okay, mom. Hey, hey. You have such a nice voice. Oh my god, are you serious? I think we should all uh, ask Kenna to sing for us on this podcast. Hell no. <laughs> Come on, Nina. Oh no. Not happening. <laughs> nice try. I know you just want to make fun of me or rude. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, first we had to do the chai shot. Uh, <laughs> chai shot. Delicious. I just want you guys to know BTS that whenever I come to Ruja's house, she warms up my jai for me, <laughs> makes it piping hot. This is what a good friend is. Have you a friend like this? Okay. All right, guys. Welcome back to the episode. Welcome of back. The day. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to a new episode of OK Mom Podcast. Um, if you are listening on YouTube, thank you so much. Please subscribe to our channel. It's the little red button. It takes one second. You know what? Pause. Pause the episode right now. Yeah, pause it. Did you subscribe? Please. Good. Thank you. Um, if you are listening on any audio platforms, Spotify, can you please, please, please give us a five star review? We would really appreciate it. Um, I know it's a simple task for all of our listeners and followers, but it really works wonders on our algorithm it and really we are does. Able to create content that is really relatable and specific to our audience. Um, yes. And please follow us on all, all socials. We are on TikTok and Instagram. Our OK Mom Club is growing. I know. It's and very exciting. We are here for it. We're here for the long haul. Mm -hmm. We ain't going nowhere. You're stuck with us now forever. <laughs> sucks <laughs> also welcome we really appreciate yes, all of you yes. thank you very much <laughs> thank you very much <laughs> so for our um viewers who can see us sorry not audio listeners i will try and describe this as best as i can aruj obviously has another segment where she wants me to throw up here we go <laughs> I love food related stuff. She always does this, okay? You know why? It's because you're good company. And I love food. And good company deserves good food. Wow. She's buttering me up mm. because she knows she's about to feed me God knows what. <laughs> All right. I don't know. So I went to my local up and up farm. Here we if go. You know, you know. All right. And we picked out, I picked out all of the desi flavors that I found because these are desi flavored lays. So these are the ones that you can know find. that existed. I know. So all of these flavors you can find on the other end of the planet, um, which is very near and dear to us. So I yes. thought, why not bring it here on the podcast? This is so cool. So I've never seen this. Before. I know. And I've actually never, ever tried any of these flavors. Okay. All right. Audio listeners, we have five chip bags. Chili lime, Spanish tomato tango. Ooh, that sounds really good. Yeah. India's magic masala. Ooh. This is American style cream and onion. I think I'm gonna love that. And West Indies hot and sweet chili. Ooh. They all sound really good. I'm really they excited. They really do. And I think they're all like crinkle cut chips, which yes. is actually my, my favorite. favorite. <gasps> my favorite too. I love I love crinkle cut. It's also why I love ruffles. Me too. Like, oh, I did not know this about you. Oh my god. If Ruffles? Ruffles was a flat chip, I wouldn't like it. I wouldn't like it. Thank you. Thank you. So I appreciate all of the people who, yes. who love uh crinkle cut chips. I don't know what it is. It's about the texture. It makes me enjoy the chip. Yeah. Better. I feel like the flavor gets into the ridges. Right? Yeah, yeah. Then it's just like extra flavor. We like that. We, we like, like that. it. We like it. Please did something. All right. Which one would you like to try first? Um, okay. I want to try the Spanish tomato tango. All right. That's what the bag looks like. Ooh. Um, it's for our audio listeners. It's like a bright red. looks like a typical red ketchup bag. It almost looks like a barbecue bag too. Yeah, it does. Okay. Oh, this one might be hard to open. What is with these bags? <laughs> these see packaging. You guys, I don't know how you guys package this. Yeah, for but... real. For real. Okay. FYI, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Hina, yeah. I do not like ketchup. I love ketchup. Okay. I despise the condiment. What? I don't know what it is. It grosses you don't like, me out. So what do you put on a burger? I don't put ketchup. I'll do mayo and pickles and all of it. Okay. Can't, honestly. Can't ketchup. And hot I sauce. Know. I don't know if we can be friends. Like, <laughs> like ketchup is bae. Okay. I can't. My kids love it. I do. I can't stand it. It's something about the sweet. And you know what it is? Growing up, I hated when ketchup would be on a plate and then that plate would be in the sink and then the whole sink smelled like ketchup. What? Okay. It would make me vomit. This is crazy to me. I'm so, never. Okay. I, so I don't like ketchup chips. Here we go. You better stop. So I will try it. Chips. I'm going to try it. Okay. Let's go, guys. For the podcast. I'm nervous. It doesn't look like it looks like an all dressed. It does look okay. like an all dressed. I love Let's the ridges. Go. Let's go. I don't like it, but I don't like ketchup. Mm. 
Okay, I'll explain this. This is like ketchup, but with like extra tomato. It's really tomato. -y. Very tomato-y, but I don't mind it. I actually kind of like it. Take another one. I know you like, like it. It was actually really good. I like it a lot. Okay, so compared to a regular Canadian Lay's ketchup flavor. Well, first of all, it would be a flat chip. <laughs> That's the first thing. But I feel like this has more of a tomato flavor. Okay. And that one is more like tangy. Okay. Yeah. And okay. I feel like that one is more like, um, this even has a little bit of a, a very slight kick to it. Mm. That one doesn't. Okay. It's just like sour sweet. Okay. Yeah. Okay. This, I don't find it's not that sweet. So that's it's not, not that good. sweet. It's not that sweet. All right. So okay. out of five, that's your number five. Oh, that's so my number five. Because I'm just not about that ketchup life. I don't know where this sits right now because I need to try all of them first. Okay. Right now, I would say this is like a three. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So where? What do we? What do you want to try next? Which one? Uh, let's try the West Indies hot and sweet chili. I was extremely intrigued by this flavor. Ah, sounds really good. Yeah, it's an orange bag. West Indies hot and sweet chili. Smell test. Definitely, you know, no gala namak. No gala namak at all. How is Aruj gonna survive, guys? Oh, I'm just making me sad. I just need gala namak. All right. Again, it looks the same as the ketchup one. Yeah. All dressed. No. Really? Mm, I don't like it. I like it. It's really sweet. I like it a lot. Because mm. you have a sweet tooth. Of course you're gonna like it. It's like tangy and it's spicy. It has a spice. I don't taste the spice that much. I taste the spice. This is good. So you know what it is? Mm. When you eat the chip initially, it's like I got a burst of sweetness, mm -hmm. and then you get the, the, uh, the tangy chili. and the chili right now. Like I'm but getting there it is now. Chili and it's it's spicy. I'm not. I don't Ooh. find it spicy, but it's not. <laughs> it is dying. I'm not, it's 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 not like it is spicy. I don't know. Do you have a high tolerance for spice? I'm like medium. Okay, I have a really high tolerance. For yeah. Spice. Yeah. Okay. Well. Definitely, I don't. Um, I'm gonna save this. Can we save this one for last? Because okay. this is the one that I really wanted. Okay, fine. All right. Fine. What do you want to do next? You pick. India's magic masala. Let's try this one. Anytime anything says masala, I get so scared. I get so excited. Because <laughs> I'm like, this is gonna be intense. I want like, all the right masala. Right now, I'm drinking chai and I still taste the chili from it. Yeah, 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 yeah. I no, can see that. Right? Yep. All right, so, smell test. Okay, I can't smell anything. I can't smell anything. Guys, this is like a dark blue bag. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm Okay, take one. They all, by the way, audio listeners, they all look like all dressed. Yeah, they do. There's no difference in color. This has your kala namak in it. <laughs> this is amazing! This is kala namak. Oh! Mm -hmm. Whoa. Uh, you know what this tastes like? You know what nimko is? Yes! This tastes like nimko. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's good, but I don't love it. I love this one. I don't love it. Okay, for all of you like Nimco like snacks, mm -hmm. all of them, I love all of them. This tastes like that. But you, you know what I think it is? I think I love like the tangy vinegary taste. On yes, it. okay, this okay, okay. Have it. No, so this, this is straight masala. Yeah, Got this it. is very. <laughs> God, I know what. Onion, I taste onion. And I taste black pepper a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But this that's the kind of flavor that this has. Yeah. Oh, I love I love that one. Yeah, I was I think that would be like five for me. Oh, really? Yeah, I don't I don't like that much. Okay. Because I just I love having a little bit of like kata, like mm. a little sour in it. It doesn't have that. All right. This is the light it looks exactly same color like um, I'm super excited about this. Yeah, sour cream and onion. I love sour cream. I actually love sour cream and onion chips. So much. I love it. Like, I can't even tell you. We grew up on sour cream and onion chips. Like, I literally can eat an entire ruffle sour cream and onion bag. Oh, the ruffles also, are so good. The sour cream and onion rings. Oh my god. The onion rings. Yeah. <laughs> they are so amazing. That's I, my childhood. That's my childhood. In too. a nutshell. Oh my god. I love that. I we love would go them. to Bulk Bar. Oh and my god. I would just want to get a baggie and like stuff all of those. And rings. I would like stack the rings. Me too. And eat them. <gasps> Did anybody else love onion rings? They're so, so good. So good. So They're so good. Also, like onion rings itself, like not a chip, but like the actual appetizer is probably my favorite. Oh, like, yeah? yeah. Those are I good would, too. Those are good too. I would pick but those. The chip is like yeah. insane. But I would pick onion rings over fries any day. I wouldn't. I, I love onion fries. rings so much. I love onion rings, but I feel like the onion ring chips are different. Mm. They hit different. They do hit different. Yes. This looks exactly like a regular sour cream and onion. Yeah. Actually, it looks exactly like a Ruffles chip. Yeah. Typical. Sour cream and onion. Yeah. It's good though. Oh, this is good. Mmm. I like this. 
But I feel like, but it's nothing new. And there's not that much flavor on it. Yeah. Like I feel like on a regular ruffles, or it's even a lot. Lace, yeah, a lot more flavor. Yes, yes, it's yes. Like more subtle, but it tastes exactly like a sour yeah. onion. Yeah. I like these. Okay. okay, the one that I was waiting for this entire time. This is the chili lime dark green Lay's bag. Why were you waiting for this? You know what? Because I've seen, I saw it on the shelf, and. You know what? I'm going to ask you this after. Okay, okay. Let's eat this and then I'll tell you why I was so uh, excited to have this one. Okay. So this is like the dark, darkest orange chip that we've seen. Yeah. This looks like a barbecue chip. Yeah, this looks like barbecue. I can't smell anything. I can't smell anything. Let's go. Mm. Uh, uh, I don't like it. It's okay for me. Oh my gosh. She's like choking on it. <laughs> No, like that lime is so intense. The lime is liming. Yeah, the lime is no. liming. <laughs> the lime is like, Ooh, it slaps you across your face. It's chili lime. This should just be straight lime. Yeah, there's no chili there's in here. There's no chili. It's just lime. Lime. It slaps you across your face. Ooh, that's a lot of lime. That's a lot of lime. I like it though. I don't really love it. Okay. Like this would be number four for me. Okay, rate them. Okay. Indian ma India's magic masala number five did not like at all. Okay. All right. Cool. I'm gonna chili lime. Cool. Is four. Okay. Then I would say um. I would say Spanish tomato. Really? Mm -hmm. Is three? Okay. Yeah, three. And then I would say sour cream, and then the West Indies hot and sweet chili. That was my favorite. Ding ding ding. That was my favorite. This it was is really different. This is Hina's winner. But guys, like it has like a very, it has spice. It has spice. You gotta have some more. The no, bag is yours. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna have one more and that's it. Half of a chip. For me, um, ketchup, uh, actually catch, ketchup is five. West Indies chili is four. Um, I'm gonna do sour cream as three. No, no, sorry. Chili lime as three. Mm -hmm. Then sour cream as two. Okay. And then the India's magic masala is my number one. Our taste buds are so different. They are really different. Like so different. Yeah. I like that. Okay. I like that. Good. It's, it's gonna be my number one. So the reason why I was really excited for this chili lime flavor is, um, what is your ultimate absolute favorite bag of chips flavor wise? Honestly, I think it'd be a Ruffles all dressed. Or I'll dress. Okay. A Lay's dill pickle. I love dill pickle. Yeah, Lay's dill pickle is really it's good. Fire. Mm. So, um, this is not a popular flavor, I don't think. Uh -huh. but Miss Vicky's jalapeno. No, no, I love the jalapeno one. Oh, and oh, I don't. I don't like the jalapeno at all. My sisters love it. Everyone in my house loves jalapeno, and I don't like jalapeno chips. Okay, it is like the chip of the chip. No, it's like, not. Man. Yes, it's it is. Not. It, it's, it's, not. it's been crowned. It's salt and vinegar is way better. No. Oh, yes. No. Uh, no. Uh, it's because you like the... T I, I get it yeah. now. I understand your taste buds. Like yeah, yeah, I get yeah. it. Um, but actually, Miss Vicky's also has a lime and black pepper flavor. Oh. I love is that, that. Is that good? You, I don't know. I don't think you'll like it because it's actually a combination of this chili lime and this India See, No, no, no. I, You're not going to like it. I'm not going to like it. No, no. But for those of you who like the jalapeno flavor, With try this no one. Kata? Chili, chili lime. It's a uh, lime and black pepper, Miss Vicky's. So if you guys like sour, like, you know, the tangy stuff, you're not going to like this chip. No, no. I can't stand that. That's why I don't like the jalapeno because there's no sour in it. But it's so spicy. And the I jalapeno like flavor it. is like, they, they nailed it. They did nail it. No I'll... other jalapeno chip has nailed it the way Miss Vicky's They Vicky nailed has. it. I'll give it to them, but I'm not a fan. Okay. I prefer their salt and vinegar. Mm -hmm. I'm not a fan of that one. But dill pickle deaths is so good. Dill pickle is elite. And uh, ruffles all dressed. So ruffles good. all dressed is so, so good. So good. So good. I also like love Cheetos. I love Cheetos, but then I stopped eating them because I felt like they got really unhealthy. Yeah, of course. They're, all of it is. And Doritos were bomb. Oh my God. Oh, you know Doritos, jalapeno, and cheddar? Okay, no, I don't like those. I just like spicy nacho and Doritos. That's oh, my. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. Spicy nacho, cool ranch as. Cool well. ranch is so cool good. Is bomb. Okay. My brother likes like sweet chili, and I'm like, oh. I don't like that. So you know what it is? Uh, sweet chili. It's the same thing like how it was this one. Yeah. The West Indies one. I find it so sweet, and then it gets 
chili and see i like, feel like on a spicy. burrito it's too much mm -hmm. i can't yeah, believe I we just spent like the first 15 minutes talking about chips <laughs> but yeah here we are guys live it up listen we got inner fatties okay we had to share it with you guys because you guys need to try these Chinese flavors. i've never heard of them yeah this so i went to up now farm and i saw them and i was like you know what i've never seen these flavors i want to try them out let's let's see what we like best i really like this so we've crowned india's magic masala and west indies hot and hot sweet, sweet chili. chili as our number one Ooh, all right that was a great segment a great thank segment. you for sharing this uh wonderful no worries chips. don't mind me guys i might be eating some of the chips. get a chow down and i'm gonna start the episode okay so i have uh i have something to read okay and i want your opinion okay so guys i'm gonna read a little dilemma that someone's having mm -hmm. and let's see what you think of it okay okay my husband third is 33 and i'm 32 i've been married for four years and we have a three-year-old together before getting married we were in a relationship for almost seven years we've had our challenges but there's one thing that that comes back to bother me every time a special day comes around. The thing is, my husband doesn't do anything special for me, whether it's my birthday, anniversary, or recently Mother's Day. And this is despite me telling him how much I would like to do something fun together on days like these. There's always a comeback that he has. You should have been direct about what you wanted. At least I do the small stuff like make coffee for you every day. Good for your friends if, hus if their husbands do that. Maybe I'm just not thoughtful. His main reason is that he spends most of his time working and spends the rest of his time helping with childcare, thus leaving him with no bandwidth to plan anything. However, he makes it a point to make time for his hobbies. And while I get that that's important, I don't get why this is so hard. I also work, manage the house and handle childcare. And I've never once forgotten to get him a gift or, or forgotten to plan something for his big days. How do I tackle this moving forward? Is this something I have to make peace with or is there a way to get through to him without him getting defensive mm, that's an interesting dilemma right okay i like this i thank you for bringing this forward this is a great topic i think this is something a lot of people go through a lot of people i think everybody in every relationship will go through this yeah um i'm gonna have an unpopular opinion okay so i am the bad gifter in the relationship okay so i'm the husband okay okay so uh, Farhan is like literally a top tier gifter you okay. know that <laughs> like girl you see you see even i know that yeah. <laughs> well, you see this neon sign over here now we see of allah yeah. for <laughs> why lie why lie um and it took um, it took me a really long time to kind of it's, it's almost embarrassing it's almost embarrassing okay because um it takes so much out of me to actually plan okay and figure out something that i could get for him that is something that he actually wants that he will use and sometimes it because i am also like taking care of the home yeah. and working and doing all these things that my plate is so full mm -hmm. that i literally look over and i'm like can you just tell me what you want okay and yes it gets rid of the element of surprise and yes you know maybe maybe it feels like and I, you know i'm sure if he was on this podcast he'd feel like maybe i don't put in that effort mm -hmm. right i get that because sometimes i don't and that's just me being completely honest but i am definitely like the husband here i'll just just tell but, me what you want open communication and i will get you the thing that is no but want. like you still get him something i do i like do birthdays anniversary you still yes. get something yes i feel like her situation is that he doesn't get her anything that a little extreme i don't think he, you need to be on that end of everything yeah we understand you're working yeah we understand that you have all of these other things but you for especially if like she's the mom yeah yo get her something for mother's, mother's day, day roll it around you know as you much as get her nothing and as much as every mom says it's okay it's just mother's day on the it's inside not. honestly i feel like with every mom you really want some kind of appreciation on oh, mother's day sure and you don't want it to be a regular like somebody's making you a cup of coffee yeah that's you, totally different that's totally different you want it to be something special for somebody to recognize all the mother efforts that you put into the home yeah right taking care of your kids or like just doing something giving you some space giving you some time uh to do something that you want to yeah. do that's a great gift too it doesn't totally. necessarily have to be a material item yeah yeah it could be that you get, give her two hours to go and get her nails done yeah how nice is that how nice is that that's Every mom nice. would love that i agree with you know and yeah so i feel like he he's a little bit in the wrong where he doesn't need to be to that extreme yeah the open communication is key yeah i feel like for her she should definitely 
She should definitely be saying like, hey, how about this, this, and this? Give him yeah. three options. Yeah. And say, hey, I was thinking, do you like this? What about this? What about this? Maybe for future, you know, anniversaries or whatever, you could pick one out of these three. Yeah. So it's still a little bit of a surprise for her. Yeah, that makes he sense. He kind of has an idea of what maybe he can get her. Yeah. But he needs to put in a bit more of that effort, I, I would agree. say. I agree with that. Right? Mm -hmm. What do you think? What's your take on this? I feel like I am so sad for her. Oh. You know, I just feel like as a mother, I mean, let's say she wasn't even a mother. When you are like with someone in a relationship, I feel like as a human being, everyone likes gifts. Okay. Let's not lie to ourselves. Yep. Okay. Everyone likes when you do something special. We're not talking like you need to like go splash like $12,000. Like <laughs> if you can do it, go for it. But like, you know, just doing something nice for somebody um, that you know that they'll like. And I feel like everyone appreciates those things. So I think in this situation, I think he's making a lot of excuses. Right. My personal thought. Because I feel like, you know, when somebody really wants to do something for you, they'll do it. Right? That's true. Like, and I'm not saying this to your point. Your point is different because I feel like you still do something. Yeah. It may just be the fact that you're like, I don't know what to do. Mm -hmm. That's different mm -hmm. because it's like you, it's hard. First of all, it's hard gifting certain people, right? Right. Especially when you've known them for such a long time, you're like, what do you need? Mm. You know? And then if you do, like, if they do tell you, I feel like that's fine. You know, the, the, the point is that you, you thought of them and you're getting them something special. But I feel like when you have like an anniversary come up and you've spent this many years with someone like as a woman, I know as a man, like guys probably like, like that too, for sure. But I'm, I'm speaking from a female perspective here as a woman, you've done all these sacrifices to be with this person. Let's say you've given them children. Okay. It's the very, like the, the bare minimum here. Like, you know what I mean? Is it going to kill you to like get her flowers or like, is it going to kill you to like plan a beautiful date for her? And like, say, let me take you out to dinner today. Let me like get you something nice to wear that I know that. Because I think as girls, we're always like, oh, I really want this. Like, you'll say this to of like course. a significant other. Of course. Even if you're dating someone, you'll be like, oh, I love this. Like, I really want to get this. And all they have to do is just write it down, <laughs> press add to cart and buy it. That's it. It's so yeah. simple. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But like the fact that she's doing things for him and he's not doing anything. Like, can you imagine she does something for him for Father's Day? Yeah. And then on Mother's Day, he does nothing. That that breaks. Me. I would be, I would, I would cry. Yeah. I know myself. I would 100% cry because I am like a major gifter. Yeah. I always have it, and I love it. Like I enjoy it. And I feel like if it's not reciprocated, it would break my heart because I feel like if I can be so thoughtful, then why is it so hard for you? Especially if I've said it. Yeah. If I've communicated and said I really, I really like this. Yes. I want you to do something like this for me, and then you still don't do it that to me is like a cop out. Yeah. That's like, you don't really care about me. And, and for whatever reason, like you can make whatever excuse you want, but you don't really care about me. The other thing I want to say is like, especially when it comes to like being a mom, right. Mm -hmm. And like mother's day. And like, I know people are like, Oh, it's just another holiday. We're like, you know, um, capitalism and like people are just trying to make money off of it. That's fine. Right. But like a lot of people do think it's a special day. Okay. Yeah. To celebrate uh, you as a mom or whatever it may be. And I think not only do you give everything of your, like all of yourself to the fact that you're being a mother and to these children, but also keep in mind that like majority of the time mothers are the ones that are like recording their children with their dads. You know, no one records the mom with their kids. Like, honestly speaking, honestly. like it's always like us trying to make these memories so that like, we always have all this like stuff and like no one makes, takes pictures of us. Yeah. If they do the pictures are crap. Okay. And I'm not saying this is everyone, but I feel like this is like a collective thing from the people that I know. Right. Okay? And, and so it's like, we do all these things. Like we take care of the house. We take care of like, you know, we make sure that your family is taken care of and like mother's day rolls around. It's one day in a year and you can't do something. Mm -hmm. That makes me sad. Yeah. That makes me sad. Yeah. And I feel like I never really uh, paid any attention to Mother's Day before I became a mom. Of course. Yeah. And now I really do realize that even the handmade card that your kid mm -hmm. brings from school yeah. and even the little like poem that's written on the back of something yeah. or anything on Mother's Day really does mean that a mom feels like she is seen and yes. she's heard. 
yeah. right? Because and you matter. You, you matter. Yeah. 365 days of the week, we, I, I'm, I'm being completely candid here. I feel like, honestly, moms, at least once in the day, will feel like they are not seen. For sure. Okay? We feel like we are ignored or we feel like we're doing all of these things and nobody is appreciating any of the efforts or like the, the, the amount of things that we can get done in an hour. Um, and when that effort, when that effort is never appreciated yeah. on the one day that is like a worldwide recognized yeah. day for yeah. mom, you feel upset. You're yeah. going to feel upset, I feel upset. And then I also feel like in the age of social media now, everyone is always sharing like of what they're doing for like mother's day, mm -hmm. Valentine's day, this day, that day. And then like, or even like if you have siblings, right. And then you're kind of like, Oh, well like, you know, my significant other didn't do anything. Yeah. And so you feel like shit. Yeah. Feel so crappy. Cause you're just like, wow, like, I guess I'm just not good enough. Right. I think it can come back to that a lot because you feel so like invisible mm -hmm. in, in life. Sometimes like you don't really matter because you're always having to put everybody else before yourself, yes. your children, your, your husband, your boyfriend, whoever it is, your parents, mm -hmm. their parents. Mm -hmm. And then like on like one, this one day, it's like, you're not even special on that day. Right. Like no one can even eat like, and sometimes it's like, okay. So if somebody comes up to me and is like, Happy Mother's Day. Hope you have a good day. <laughs> like, is that enough? And there's a little, there's a little like, pat on the shoulder? The pat on the shoulder would get a pat. <laughs> pat, pat. <laughs> yeah, like, I feel like I, I think I would really be really upset. Yeah. A hundred percent I would shed tears. One million yeah. percent yeah. I would shed tears. Because, and I only say that because I know how I am, where, like, I know the thought that I would put into someone else. Yes. You know what I mean? So I feel like this scenario yeah. goes back to a really big conversation around love languages. Yeah. You need to know who your partner is. Yeah. yeah you yeah, yeah. need to yeah. speak their love language, fam. Yeah. yeah. You need to know when something is rolling around, do they really care? Because yeah. even, and you should know them so well that even if surface level they're saying, they don't really care, they don't really need anything, yeah. do a little something. Because they'll okay? still appreciate because it a they lot. they will appreciate yeah. it. Okay. Yeah. It's not so much of the item that you are receiving. It is the thought that is going behind the item that yeah. you are giving to somebody. Right. And so you, whatever your partner is like, it, like for me, if it's acts of service. Okay. Mm -hmm. So for me on the day on mother's day, if I am able to sleep in and then get an hour to myself, mm -hmm. That's what I need. I don't need you to go and buy a whatever $10,000 bag for yeah. me because yeah. at the end of the day, my husband knows that he knows what is going to actually bring me joy. Yeah. Totally, okay? And he's totally. going to know that the bag is great and I will love it. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. Obviously material items make us happy and we're girls and we love yeah. the bags and the shoes and the accessories. Right. Yeah. But he knows in the long run that that joy will will not yeah last. it's fleeting yeah but if he gives me the time to myself that time means so much to me right yeah and that's just me as an individual yeah for somebody else they really want the bag yeah they've expressed it to you yeah they've given you their amazon wish list i want Amen. this like sure. am, i want this revlon hair straightener i want the i want the dyson want air wrap the dyson. Mm -hmm. you know you've mentioned the dyson quite a few times mm -hmm. i hope your husband is watching it <laughs> you know i want the cricket machine because yeah. i'm a crafter i want you know like something anything you, people there there are so many things that you could yeah, want yeah. maybe you do want a really nice handbag yeah. Because, you know, as moms, we carry around that damn baby bag everywhere we go. It's freaking ugly. And once in a while, when you have your girl's night, you want to pull out a nice purse. Yeah, you want to pull out something fancy. Yeah, you want to wear some nice fancy Kate, girl. Kate Spade earrings or oh, something. Yeah, Come not? on. Right? We want to we dress up. Sister. We want to look nice. Yeah. So if you have that Amazon wish list, if your partner has communicated yeah. with you, which yeah, yeah, yeah. clearly in this scenario, she said she's yeah, been, she, she did, did a few she times did. to him. Yeah. And she feels like, should she just accept that he won't be doing that? No, I think there's a bit deeper conversation that needs to happen. I think so too. Where you really need to be vocalizing that this is important to me. Yeah. yeah when yeah. you don't show these things, it makes me feel like you honestly have given up on the relationship. Yeah. That you don't care about anything that I am doing. Yeah. And so that conversation needs to happen because yeah. if she has voiced it to him multiple times, yeah. she has given a wish list. She yeah. has said, these are the things that I need yeah. from you. I need to this from you. To to feel loved to feel loved yeah. and you are not showing that effort if you have the wish list if you know that's her love language yeah. if you know that that's what she needs to feel seen heard and appreciated and loved yeah you need to be making that effort if not that's a problem son 
Absolutely. Abs I agree with that. I just feel like, I, man, honestly, for me, I'm like, listen, I'm all about the acts of service. Right. Because she was like, oh, well, yeah, he's saying he makes me coffee. And I'm like, are you kidding me? Like, he's doing the bare minimum. Mm. And like, he's acting like he, it's like, he, he what like I, i'm confused mm -hmm. okay because i bet she's like i wash the dishes i make the food i take care of the kids i pop the kid out mm, i, I did the grocery of, right mm -hmm. i make the house into a home mm -hmm. like there's so many things she's doing as well and she's so underappreciated for it right i just feel like i think if you ever get anyone gifts even people that don't like the gift like right. like a, like their their love language is not gifts right but even if you get them something, they will appreciate it. Mm -hmm. So I feel like if you're in a relationship with someone and you do something nice for them, like if it's your anniversary yeah. and y'all lasted that long, mm. why is he not planning a dinner? Mm -hmm. Why is he not getting you something nice? Mm -hmm. Because I feel like it is so, it's a very romantic gesture for a guy to be that gentleman and be like, let me plan something for you. Right. Like I'm not gonna tell my wife, what we're doing i'm gonna make reservations i'm gonna plan it mm -hmm. and i'm gonna get her something nice too mm -hmm. honestly if you don't score major points for that wow and you know what How it is is it and it's not that hard and yeah. i feel like especially after you become a parent yeah yeah when it just it's so much more appreciated because your wife is gonna understand yeah how long it took you to plan that yeah. Okay, she's gonna know. Like he got a babysitter. Yeah. He figured out how to put the kids down. Oh yes, he did. He let me get ready. Yeah. He bought me a dress. He to bought wear. me a dress to wear. Then he called a restaurant. Right. <laughs> then he called a restaurant and said dinner for two at seven thirty. This is not on McDonald's. No, it's somewhere fancy. Yeah, baby. Yeah. <laughs> You're not gonna have takeout or Uber Eats at the door. We're going out, out. Oh damn, girl! Right? You he see, opened, he opened the car door. For opened you. the car door for you. You guys are holding hands. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Don't get carried away. <laughs> That's a bit much. Some X-ray is stuck. <laughs> Hina immediately zips up her damn hoodie. X-ray is stuck. <laughs> no, but I know I know what you're saying, okay? See, it's like so unheard of. But like, and that's what a guy should do. Can we be honest, you guys? We are talking about this and we are getting giddy. Yeah, yeah. Because just the thought of somebody, you guys can hear the dishwasher in the dishwasher. background. Dishwasher. Welcome to the realest podcast in the world. Hey, hey. But I feel like we're getting really giddy too because yeah. um, we're getting excited. Yeah. Because if somebody does do that and puts yeah. in all that effort after having kids. Oh my God, I know. It just makes you feel so special. I also think like, okay, there are dads that like, you know, when, when, when it's their child's birthday, they will never forget. Mm -hmm. They will get their kids gifts. They will go all out for their children. Mm -hmm. Okay. They'll like, you know, if, if you celebrate Christmas, let's yeah. say y'all will wrap them presents, mm -hmm. put them under the tree, put all the effort in. Okay. Oh, yeah. But then why is that energy not there for your significant other? Yeah. Why? That's a great question. Because I feel like, are you serious? I also feel like you know, honestly, like, and it's not always moms, but I feel like moms, the moms that I know, I'm basing it off of the moms that I know, the effort that we put in for all the small events, literally birthdays. Okay. Everyone's birthday. It's like, you got to do something. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? If there's dinners, you're planning the dinners mm -hmm. for family and stuff. You know, if it's like Eid or like Diwali or like whatever celebrations totally. you have, you're going all out mm -hmm. for your kids. Got to get them new clothes. Got to do this. Got to do that. Those are things that the guy doesn't always have to worry about. Yeah. The mom holds it down. For so real. then it's like, it's the bare minimum. Mm -hmm. Like all you have to do to book a nice dinner is pick up the phone. Mm -hmm. Right. And like half of y'all, y'all are on the phone half the day anyway. So like, why is it so difficult? Yeah. Why is it so hard to be like, Hey, you know what? I know that my wife has been talking about this specific item. Like it could be a pair of shoes. Like it could be a pair of sneakers. I know she's been talking about these sneakers for like the last two months and she's saying she really wants these mm -hmm. sneakers. Let me get her these sneakers. Mm -hmm. What is so hard about that? I don't get that. And can I be honest? Um, I actually really, really appreciate people. Like I know I can tell, and I know that yeah. you are a great gifter because I feel like you genuinely get to know the person that you are gifting yeah. and you want to get something. That, and I know a lot of people in my life that are like that. They yeah. just, you, they just get you to the core or like yeah. you have a funny memory together and you're just like, I have to gift this person this yeah. because yeah. 
it's related to something, a moment that we had, or, you know, it's very thoughtful. And like, um, even when like your kids were born, I remember you were giving out all your sweets and stuff and the way each packaging was. And like, you think of the little details, girl. I remember that. You had this brownie box. Is it when Asher was born? Yeah, it was Asher. Guys, first of all, who was this baker? Can we give them a shout out? Oh my God, they don't bake anymore. Oh, you bake bake just for our podcast? (laughs) Who's this baker? Bake just for the podcast. Because that damn brookie. Yo, it was so good, it wasn't it? The cookie and the brownie. Guys, it was, it so was probably one of the best like desserts I've no, had. Really good. It was really good. It was amazing. It was and I remember it came, the box came with the packaging and all these things. And it's like, for me, because I'm not a gifter, Yeah. even though I'm not a gifter, right? I may not be the one who remembers and does all of that. I can appreciate the effort. Yeah. yeah. And the thing is, when when you are not gifted in return and that is your love language, That's you feel like I'm it's saying. you feel like that your even your little effort is not seen, understood, or appreciated. Yeah. Yeah. And that's where the problem lies. Exactly. Exactly. For example, because mine is like, I love to cook. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I, I love to cook and I love to host. Yeah. And I love people coming over. I, I'm not like that. We've thought, I've always like say this, but you are a great host when it comes to like your Girl. table setting and all these things. I may not be like that. Right. I, like I said, I got my Corel dishes, but you, you, are, you're a good cook girl. I got my, you know, you're blah. a good cook. I love being in the kitchen and my, my, my act of service comes in the prep that I do, the yeah. grocery that I do, the time that I take yeah. over my kids just so that I can prep for all the people that are coming over. Okay. All of that effort is there. Okay? Yeah. And then when I go to somebody else's house yeah. and that effort is returned, then you feel like I feel seen. seen? That's what I'm saying. I feel like you, so like if I have him over and I put all this effort and then I go back to her house and then she's got that table setting and she makes sure the food is like, you know, if I'm, if my kids are coming over, the foods are not at a spice level that they're not going to tolerate. Yeah. Okay. It's little things that I know you thought about little things. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And it's like, you know, you're pulling out your mama rule because you know that I have a small, an infant, Yeah. you know? It's little things like that that make me feel like, wow, when when she comes over, I yeah. do all of that. When I you go do. over, she yeah. does that too. And it's that. You need to make sure that you are being seen, heard, appreciated, yeah. loved in your relationship. Absolutely. And I think sometimes within friends, like within girlfriends, I feel like it's great because yeah. like, and it obviously depends on the girlfriends that you have, but I feel like we have a good group of girlfriends where like, we do that a lot with each other. We're, yes. we're like, I know I have so much faith that like if I go to any of my friends house and I had a newborn I know that my friends are like on point mm-hmm. honest. I don't have to worry about anything yep but like when it comes to relationships that's I think where the hard part is where like I've known people that have kind of gone through similar situations where they will put all this effort in and all these special days roll around for them and like when we talk about it in our group of friends sometimes it's like yeah well you know like they're not going to do anything anyway and like you laugh it off but then sometimes you also feel guilty for wanting your significant other to have done something yeah and you almost feel like oh it was selfish of me to even want them to do something for me mm-hmm. when in actuality like they should do something for yeah me. like you do a lot unfortunately i feel like that's a mom quality because you always end up blaming yourself yeah like, like everything is like i'm asking too much i'm asking for too much yeah. but it, maybe it's, it's also because of the way that we've been raised up true maybe. true right we always have that kind of like people pleasing in the back of our mind like no no no, don't ask for too much don't ask for you too know much. keep your head down this is the way it is yeah you know maybe a lot of it also has to do with the fact that we didn't see much gifting in the generation before totally. us totally and that's right? very true that's very we've true. got we've talked about our moms and how they're yeah. literally the hardest people to give the on hardest. the planet yeah right really are. so maybe it's that um the the boys that have been raised in those homes maybe don't understand or know how mm-hmm. to actually gift but it's like you gotta break that but you gotta break that barrier you do have to break that but then sometimes i'm like okay there's definitely that aspect to it right but then i also think that these there are also boys that will like gift their parents but they won't gift you. You know what I mean? So it's just like, 
Or like if you have kids, they'll make sure that their kids, you know, for, for all the special days for their kids, they'll make sure to remember those. But then when it comes to a special day for you, even if you voice that concern and you say, hey, like, I really like that. Like, I like if you plan dates or like, I like if you would, you know, like think that I'm important enough that like you want to do something special for me. You know what I mean? And it, and sometimes I'm like, it's not like you go and you're like, okay, I'm going to run out last minute and be like, oh, well, you wanted a pair of sneakers. So I'm just going to get you some, any random highlighter like neon with lights on sneakers that you know I'm gonna find ugly like that is not worthy okay you can't just be walking around and be like let me just get her something yeah to make to say that I did right? something yes mm -hmm. you have to put the thought and effort into it so I feel like I'm not gonna make any excuses for the guys because I feel like y'all need to step it up mm. and for the ones that do kudos to you yeah now the second thing I wanted to ask you is oh, what's up related to gifting the push present do you think the push present is necessary? Go for it. Okay, personally, oh, okay. I think it is necessary. Amen, girl. Okay. Because, God, that shit is so hard. The pushing is so hard. It's so hard. And like just giving birth in general, y'all. Doesn't matter how you did it. Doesn't yeah. matter how you did it. Giving birth in general is so hard. And when you give birth and you do receive a gift, you genuinely feel like, wow, I did something and it was probably the hardest thing that I ever yeah. did in my life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then somebody came and gifted rewarded me, me for it. Rewarded me for it. And like, yes, you shouldn't equate your your oh, I understand. Okay. Yeah, because we're gonna get all we're we're gonna get some backlash on this. I understand. You shouldn't be equating the birth of your baby to a gift and all of these things. I understand the birth of your baby is a gift. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Totally. I understand that. Okay. Yeah. But men, listen to me. It is so hard. It is so hard to give birth. C-section, vaginal, epidural, no epidural, bathtub, the hospital bed, car, on the 407. I don't care where you gave birth. I don't know how you gave birth, okay? <laughs> Listen to me though, that baby came out of your woman. Yeah, yeah. Okay? Right there. And not, she didn't just come out of your woman. Your woman grew that baby. Absolutely. Okay? She vomited. She had heartburn. She couldn't eat certain things. Yes. She had, I don't, I just heard somebody tell me that they got carpal tunnel. What? During the their pregnancy. Okay. Oh my goodness. Gestational diabetes. There goes your body. Mm. Right? All the weight gain. All the hormones. Stretch marks. All the stretch marks. Hair loss. Acne. <laughs> pregnancy acne. Who knows? Okay. Everything under the sun. They did. Yes. For that beautiful baby that you are now holding yep. in your hands. Yep. Turn around and get her a gift. Get now. that man, get that woman a car. Okay. Get, get her, her something. Fam. Get her Nothing. a gift. Like, all you have to do is walk into the store and be like, I'm going to step up my game mm. because my child is priceless and so is the woman that birthed that child. Mm. Period. Mm. End of discussion. <laughs> Wait, right. have you seen um, Dubai Blink, the second season? No, I haven't seen it. Okay, so... Have you seen the first season? No, no, no. I haven't actually watched the show. So in the show, okay. there's this girl and her name is Safa. Love you, girl. Okay. <laughs> She's ghouls. And basically she had her second baby. And just to remind her husband, she wore this like tiara yeah. that push present because she didn't want to ask him all the time. Mm. So she was just wearing it like, what are you giving me my push present, Val? What are you giving, what are you giving me my push present? And he he stepped up. He, came mm. through, he got her a car, okay? He got her a G-Wagon. Which, I mean, if you can, that's great. But she was all about it. And I feel like a lot of people are probably like, well, you don't have to be that materialistic and da-da-da-da-da. And I'm like, listen, man, if, if they can do it for you, why... Why would you, like, if they can do it, they can do it. Yeah. If they can't, like, it's different if it's, like, you're asking for something that financially that person can't do. Mm. But I think a push present is, like, so necessary. Mm. It doesn't have to be something, like, wild and out of this world. But I feel like you should. You should do something. Like, why wouldn't you? And here's the thing. It doesn't have to be materialistic. It doesn't. It doesn't. Okay. You could totally book like a postnatal massage yeah. for your wife and like get, do you take care of the baby for like four or five hours and like make her let, uh, call out her girlfriends and be like, yo, take her to brunch. Yeah. It's on me. Fam. It's on me, fam. It's on me. Fam. Go take her and let her have her brunch with her girls and then go take her so she can get like her nails done and then go book a massage for her. Yeah. We're not saying it has to be a Louis Vuitton. And then buy her a diamond necklace. Mm. 
If it's a Louis Vuitton, it's a Louis. You got that kind of money? I want that kind of money. Y'all, did you subscribe to the channel so I can get that kind of money? We're literally just funding your lifestyle. Go fund Aruj. <laughs> We're just funding Aruj's lifestyle. <laughs> All right, guys, I want art money. All right, I want Saudi money. That's the kind of money I want. Let's go. Let's put it out in the universe. Put it, in the universe. Put it out there. Put it out there. Put it out there. Um, but I definitely feel like, you know what it is? Because in our Pakistani community, yeah. and everybody's going to know this, when you gift uh, women gold. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When they have kids, you'll gift the woman and you'll also gift like the child. And giving gold is a big thing. And that's yeah. like a great gift. And so many people gift that when, uh, when, that. when there's a birth of a child. Yeah. So it, it's like, it's, it, there's a cultural attachment to it too. There is, um, you know, sometimes you can pass things on because you yeah. know that this is now the birth of a new generation Absolutely. of family. Okay. There's so much meaning behind it. It's not a materialistic, um, item, yeah. but I'm just saying that like, for example, if I am giving birth to the next generation of my family Absolutely. Okay, and somebody, and like my mother law comes and gives me a gold bracelet yeah. that she had that's somebody from her generation yeah, passed down for her yeah. and then it was given to me and then i can now give it to my kids when they have yeah. kids it is like a tradition that you can start that you can gift and it really just shows that you know what and giving birth is just the beginning of a very difficult motherhood yeah, journey absolutely so why not start it with something that's going to make her happy and feel yeah. like she's and i also feel like you know when you look at that whatever that person has gotten you right it will always remind you that like oh like this is i got this for you know when i had like my first child or my yeah. second one or my third one yeah and honestly in the grand scheme of things like it's not that big of a deal for a guy to do that for his yeah wife. yeah it's really not it's really not and i feel like for the ones that have done it kudos to you guys for the ones that haven't done it step up it's never too late we're Sam. giving you guys all the clues now if you say if you're watching this men and now if you say you didn't do it i can't help this. for all of the ladies who are pregnant Make sure you add that. Add it to that list. Talk to your man. You know your birth plans? Yeah, yeah, yeah. At the end of your birth plan. It's like the baby should be coming out. The diamond necklace should be in your hand. Should be in your hand. <laughs> right after. Gives birth. Uses the bathroom. Puts on that. Depends. Where my present at? Yes, sister. Yes, yes, yes. I'm, I, I know, like, it's like, a, it is funny. It is funny. But, but, like, the fact is, if if it's taken nine months for us to cook that baby, oh. It takes nine months to cook the babe, okay? Mm. It will literally take you a few weeks mm. to think of something. Mm -hmm. And honestly, if you're really that desperate and you really don't know what to get, just ask. Ask them. The wives are going to be like, this is what I want, this is what I want, and this is what I want, period. And a discussion, okay? You know, and if you want, if you really, really want to make it special, like if they have siblings, reach out to the siblings. Absolutely. Make it a surprise. Literally just WhatsApp the sister, WhatsApp the brother and be yes. like, hey, listen, you know, your sister's pregnant. She's giving birth any day now. What can I give her as a present? Because I really want to gift her because she is my queen. She deserves that tiara. She deserves a tiara. And I just want to say that, like, don't be going for them stingy gifts. Okay, <laughs> leave that for like something small. You can throw that in on Valentine's. That's the Mother's Day gift. You the gift of life. Ooh, ooh. You better throw something there that's like worthy mm. of the gift of life. Mm. I'm just like that. I just feel like if I'm going to go through that work, mm. then I better be rewarded for the efforts. <laughs> Girl, because you know, you know what it is? It's like, it's things like after you give birth, okay, and like you eat that first meal and it is the most memorable treasure treasuring meal because yes. you're so exhausted from eating ice chips for 24 <laughs> hours right and then you get a solid meal and it's like a burger or like sushi the way you eat it, yo. The way you eat it. and like honestly a neanderthal okay? you, <laughs> you're like rat. you're like those hyenas in lion king <laughs> give it to me and i'm telling you you will remember that meal forever yeah you do while she's eating that meal, if you slip in a little bit of a some, some oh, <laughs> trust me, she is gonna look at you and be like, "This is why this is we decided it. to yes. start a family. Yes. This was worth it. This in is the end. why. In the end, it was worth it. You are the one. You are the one. Yeah, it really does help. Yeah, and motherhood is a long journey and it never ends. Yeah. So then, just keep on gifting her every few months. <laughs> Just to keep reminding her that, like, I got you. I got you, girl. I got you. I got you. 
No, but it's the truth, okay? It is the truth. Like, girls love that stuff. Flowers. Yeah. Something nice. Take yeah. on a date. And I you know, like, we're throwing out gems here. We are, we are. We're throwing out gems. Take them, guys. Take yeah. them. Collect them like those hyenas. Collect those rubies, okay? <laughs> and you know what it is? Um, <clears throat> like, all jokes aside, make her feel special and make her feel welcome. Yeah. And we will give the same advice to your own moms. Yeah. You yeah, know, yeah. make your moms feel special, make your moms feel feel heard and seen. Absolutely. Even though they are the hardest gifters on the planet, we understand that we yeah. have moms, they are extremely hard to gift. Yeah. But just here every once in a while, make them something special. Yeah. Get them some non kebab from tandoori time. Okay. So, and just, just drop it off at her doorstep and walk yeah. away and call her and be like, ma, there's something for you at the door. Okay. But can I just say, like, I've always felt like this, like the joy you get from like giving people things. Yeah. It's like a joy that like, it is it's, like, so fulfilling. Yeah. It could be the smallest thing. Like, yeah. oh, I know that like you're hungry and like, I just wanted to drop something off. Right. Like, yo, the way that it would change my day. It would honest just, honestly, honestly, honest to God. I agree. It's like the sweetest gesture. I feel like it, it, it's also not, I mean, I know we're talking about it from the perspective of like a woman receiving gifts, but I also feel like it's important to do it for the guys too you know yeah for like, sure remember that like their fathers and like father's day and like they deserve that too because i think when they're appreciated they will do it more for you for sure it is like a lot of give and take but because i think that the women have to sacrifice so much yeah. i really think sometimes the guy has to take more of the initiative and i feel like it's just like a gentlemanly thing to do for sure and for those people that have dated like i know what when, when people are dating they're like lavish lavishing people and everything yeah yeah all of a sudden the ring goes on and it's like <laughs> what date <laughs> what anniversary <laughs> uber eats gift cards yeah like have that same energy let's use that yeah. same energy and be consistent yeah. and it doesn't need to be all the time yeah it doesn't you know it doesn't. But we're just saying especially for certain occasions anniversary anniversaries for birth sure child birth, yeah mother's day yeah don't you dare forget it yeah please yeah okay you know like i feel like uh ever since we've been like we're, we're just we're getting older and i feel like those three days are really big they are the birth you know like it's so funny anytime my friends kids have birthdays yeah i'll actually message the moms i'll wish their kids a happy I birthday and then i'll message them like by the way ha happy birthday because it's the day that you birthed your kid okay honestly i love that that's story. what it is i'm right? gonna do that too now you gotta do it i'm gonna do that too because obviously we're all gonna wish the kids birthdays. We're really excited for your yeah, kids. They're yeah. going older. We're like on this journey with them. They turn four, five, six, et cetera, et cetera. But it's also the mom's day of birth. Oh, that's the so, day that she that's gave so birth. That's so factual. Cause like sometimes I'm like, even when I, when Emma's birthday rolls around, I'm like, Emma, like today's the day that you were born. And inside I'm like, today's the day that I was dying on that hospital bed. That's the day it was today. And I'm not gonna lie. It's so ingrained in our memories that like, I remember to the minute what I was doing the day oh he was my born. Gosh. I to the There's minute parts where i've like blocked it out oh, i haven't blocked anything yeah because you didn't even take the meds no. like, let's go to the minute i was like <laughs> i i literally remember the digital clock that was in the hospital bed like i was lying there and i see the digital clock and the minute i gave birth i noticed the time oh my and i was like oh my god 11 45. wow it's like so it's so it's so attached to me i haven't i haven't blocked anything it's a it's a, it's a life-changing experience but it's also a traumatic one it is and it's it goes hand in hand so all of the yeah. good is also all of the trauma and that's why i haven't been able yeah. to block any of it out yeah, yeah, yeah. because it's so new and fresh in my yeah. mind that i don't think i will maybe eventually it will come to a point where i can yeah. forget yeah. certain parts about it but right now Nah, it's there. No, nah, but we put in the work. We put in the work. The work, guys. <laughs> we really put in the work. <laughs> But yeah. we should, you should really appreciate those who are around you and appreciate your village. Oh, okay. Really? Because you know what? If you don't have a village, then your wife is your damn village. Abs Thank you. Okay. Gift her fam. Oh my God. Especially if you're living in a place where like you don't have any family. Mm -hmm. Like everyone that moves away to like a different country and is like their family is just each other. Yeah. If you're really not going to do something for your wife at that point. Yeah. That is so messed up. Yeah. That's messed up. And how many people have reached out to us telling us they actually don't have a village? I know. We've seen your DMs. Where are your we've village? Seen your comments. We are your village. Okay, honestly. mom is your village. Okay, mom is your village. Um, but That's we totally sad. understand that because if you don't have a village, but you also have a partner who is not understanding, recognizing, gifting, yeah. supporting, and doing any of that, then how lonely is it? It's that? so lonely. Like, 
like I, I want to cry just thinking about it. Oh my god. It's making me really sad. It's making me so sad too. Okay, so that was like the main chunk of our episode. I feel love like it. a really good conversation about Great that. Great conversation. I think uh, you know, I've actually had this, these discussions with my siblings and we mm-hmm. laugh about it a lot, but I think it's a collective thing that a lot of people go through. Yeah. Right. However, moving forward from this, I have one last segment that we're going to be doing today. Today, I get to do this segment. Ooh, let's go. I'm going to pass the throne we're to doing, you. We're bringing back an oldie, an All oldie, right. but a goodie. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. The segment is called, are you smarter than a Toronto Ute? Are you, girl? I ain't, fam. Yes, she is. She is. I ain't smarter than Toronto. Let's you get started. Right, let's go. Okay, so please be common knowledge. Uh, I'm hoping to oh God <laughs> that you get these, girl. Okay. Let Let's get started. Let's go. Okay. Question number one: What gas do human humans need in order to live? Oxygen. Absolutely. Good job. Good job. What does a paleontologist study? Paleontologist. Something to do with dinosaurs? Yes. I feel like you got it. It's like dinosaur bones or fossils. Okay. Oh, I was going to say fossils. Yeah, fossils. Thank you, Blippi. Good job, girl. Okay. Blippi. Y'all know, right? Okay. What is the plural form of the word deer? Deer. Yes! I guess that. I thought you were going to say deers. I was going to say, I, in my mind, I was like, is, it, is there an S? But no, I don't think there's. <laughs> okay. In which country are the famous pyramids of Giza? Egypt. Ooh. I know that. Okay. How we got we all know that one? Not everybody. I'm sure oh. they didn't know that. Okay. Okay. How many sides does a hexagon have? Six. I knew that one. I knew that one. Gosh darn it. Okay. Okay. Hold on. Let's see what else I got here. Let's see what else I got here. Okay. What is the hardest mineral? Ooh, mineral. We talked about this in our episode today. Diamond? Yes! (laughs) Give her one. Get her a diamond. (laughs) She deserves it. That was six for six, sis. That was six for six. We got Whoa, this. He's definitely smarter than a Toronto U, guys. A Toronto U. I'm actually shook. Yeah, I'm actually really proud of like, myself. I, I don't think I would have got the diamond one. <laughs> I just like, totally guessed, and I think it's because you hinted the. Nah, I still you hinted like, the I still wouldn't have got oh, it. Oh. I would have said something like, I don't know, coal. <laughs> I would have said something like that. I would have said something like that. Wow, I'm so impressed right now. I'm so impressed with you right now. Ooh. Okay, guys, that was our episode. As you know, we always pose a question on our IG stories. Okay, the question we're going to ask you guys is, do you think, based off of what I read to you guys, this situation that this woman was having, do you think it's important for your significant other to remember special days? And do you think that a push present is necessary? That's the question. We want to know. We want to know. There are no wrong answers. There's no wrong answers. Um, but there is. <laughs> but there is. But there is. Yes, we've already talked about that. So if you say anything against what we said, it's a wrong answer. Just remember that. Just remember that always. Okay? Okay, so parting words. Is there anything you would like to end off with, you genius you? No. <laughs> I've been crowned, but I'm smarter than a Toronto you. Uh, if the business is true, <laughs> let your mom's hood. <laughs> Smoke that you. I can, I have to be probably like, what are these guys saying? You guys, we have to share this clip. We have to share it. We'll share it so they understand. So they understand what we're saying because we think it's a lot. I know we do. (laughs) If the business is true. (laughs) So funny. Guys, thank you so much for all the love and support. Yes. Um, Also, we know some of the topics that we discuss can be controversial, a bit taboo, um, but we really appreciate the people who um, allow us to create a safe space for you all to share your personal stories with us. We understand it's not always easy. Thank you for all the DMs. Mm -hmm. Um, We know it's not easy to be sharing a story like that, but we read them. Sometimes we may not always respond. We apologize. We get to them eventually. Um, We love it please continue the engagement we yes. really, really appreciate it um subscribe to our youtube channel guys the the button is right there okay it's right please there. subscribe to our channel it really works wonders for our algorithm algorithm um follow us on spotify and make sure that you give us a five 
star review. We really appreciate it. And follow us on socials, TikTok and Instagram, and keep engaging with us. Ask us questions. A lot of you have actually um, sent us a lot of topics that you would like us to talk about. Yeah. We will definitely do it. On and on again, I keep saying this in multiple episodes, yeah. but we need to do a, an about us. Yeah, we really do. <laughs> we will get to it. Soon, guys, it's coming soon. It's yeah. New Year, so it's definitely coming soon. Yeah. We had somebody just being like, hey, can you guys just talk about your personalities are really yeah. like, you know, interesting and we want to know more about you. We will get to it. We apologize. We have not got, gotten to it yeah, yet. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and happy new year to everybody. Yeah. We, a little this, late, but we're a little late, but happy new year. We hope your January has been going well. We know yes. it's a pretty depressing month of the year. <laughs> we understand. I know. Um, but thank you and uh, tune in next week. See you guys later. Bye. Bye. Bye.